Hey readers, this week we read Whatever After, Fairest of All by Sarah Milnowski. Now this story is not your average fairy tale. It's a fun twist on the classic tale narrated by Abby, a sassy fifth grader with a big heart and plenty of attitude. This is so much more than just another Snow White story. And here's why. First off, Snow White is not just a helpless princess. In this book, she writes her own story with the help of Abby and Jonah. She's not waiting around for some prince to save her. She's not afraid of her evil stepmother. She's actually really clever. And the stepmother, Evil Evelyn, has it out for Snow. She's not that scary, she's just really full of herself. She's a clumsy villain who can't figure out how to get rid of Snow White. It's really funny. And get this, not all of the dwarves are guys. Three of them are actually girls. There's Tara with the braid, Francis with the cane, and Enid with pink hair. And Snow didn't eat the apple. She didn't fall for that old trick. Nor did she eat the poison cookies that Evelyn tried to give her after the apple didn't work. Psh, poison, a thing of the past, am I right? Right, and there is a magic mirror, but her name is Gabrielle, and she's actually really sassy. And she wasn't lying when she said Snow White was the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. She was just being honest. And this story is action packed with hijinks, like when Abby, Jonah, and Snow break into Evil Evelyn's castle and bust out all the prisoners from her dungeon. And one of those prisoners happens to be the prince, but he doesn't just save the princess. So readers, I'll let you find out who does. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What's the most fun for everyone modern day fractured Snow White story of them all? Sarah Milanowski's whatever after fairest of all, even if you don't like fairy tales.